to solve part A, we're going to use this capacitance formula, which is A epsilon naught over D. We're given the area, and we're also given the separation distance. The problem with the area is it's in centimeters squared. It needs to be in meters squared. So let's convert that. So recall that our parallel plate capacitor is most likely some easy shape like a square. And in order to get the area of the square, we just do x squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the square root of this number in order to find the length of one side. So here, the length is going to be approximately 1.5 centimeters. Now we can go ahead and convert this to meters. Now we can find the new area by squaring this value and we'll get approximately meters cubed. So now that we have all of the values, we can go ahead and plug it in. This will give us approximately 1.36 pico farads, or if you want it more scientific notation, it's 1.36 times 10 to the minus 12 power. For part B, we're going to take this value here and find the charge. So to do that, we'll use this formula. Now we'll go ahead and solve. This will give us a value of 16.4 pico coulombs. To find the magnitude of the uniform electric field, we use this formula right here. And we'll go ahead and substitute in the values. This results in an E field of 8,000 volts per meter.